In this video, focused on the Diffusion Monitoring Console, we're going to take you on a brief tour of the console from an operator's perspective. The Monitoring Console is optionally deployed when Diffusion is installed. Alternatively, it can be added at a later date by copying console.dar to the Diffusion Installations Deploy folder. The Diffusion Cloud dashboard is a bit different. This video is about the on-premise monitoring console, viewed with a browser. We have Diffusion installed on this machine. We'll log in as operator, a user which out of the box has permissions to view information about the server, connected sessions and topics. On the left-hand side of the console are links to the pages accessible to us. The overview page shows essential information about the software environment. This includes the Diffusion server software, the host operating system, and the Java virtual machine. Additionally, there's health monitoring of topics, sessions, messages, bytes, memory, and CPU. Panels on this page can be moved around, added, or removed. Their display style can be changed. Additional metric sources are available and can be configured for display in existing or new panels. Logged in as just an operator, what we can see and do on the sessions page is quite restricted. We can see live information from configured session metric collectors. However, the configuration of those collectors, as well as the capability to view details on discrete sessions, requires elevated permissions. Our admin user has these permissions which is something to be covered in a subsequent video. The Topics page allows us to see live information from configured topic metric collectors, as well as topic views. This is another page where the operator is restricted. Elevated permissions are required to configure topic metric collectors and topic views, as well as to explore the topic tree. The Logs page shows messages generated by the server, in color, with navigation buttons for head and tail. The Metrics tab shows aggregate counts for each class of message that can be generated by the server, ordered by likely importance. The License page provides information about the license installed on the server. Thanks for joining us on our brief tour of the Diffusion Monitoring Console from an operator's perspective. The next video in this series will explore the additional information and configuration interfaces available with the elevated permissions of an admin user.